thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. A couple days ago I made this paper doll. She has one movable arm that's holding a button with a heart. I did a mixed media textured heart out of um, textured cardboard and added a bunch of elements and beads, wire wrapped it with beads. She has a beaded necklace and bracelet and then this on her skirt is called a lasse template so I did that on paper and made her dress out of it. I wanted her to be solid hearts because I named her Hearts Desire and I made her into an ornament and I was going to um, list her in my Facebook group and I decided that she is just too fabulous and I need to keep her and she needs to be featured on an art journal page so that's what I'm going to do today is make an art journal page for Hearts Desire. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I make the page and add her to it. And before I get started, I need to give a shout out and thanks to Mimi for tipping my tip jar. I always appreciate tips to the tip jar and cups of coffee. Everything that I receive goes to buying art supplies so that I can keep making these videos and sharing my ideas with everybody. So thank you so much, Mimi. Since this paper doll is 10 inches tall, she's pretty tall, I decided to use my large uh, Rangers Dilutions journal because she'll fit absolutely perfectly in that. So I'm just going to find a spot and get started on a background to add her to. Look how cool she's going to look. My idea for this page layout is going to go off the theme of this doll. So it's going to be hearts and the background. I have background behind her here, blue. It's like a teal blue with uh, some doodling in a Posca pen. And I think I'm going to use that for my background. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the teal blue background. I'm going to use two colors of teal, acrylic paint, and a soft sponge that I have misted with my spray bottle. And this is not rocket science. Everybody has seen everybody else do this. Just adding paint to the background and then um, using my sponge, my moist sponge, I'm going to just swirl it around until I get this covered with two colors of paint. I love the look of doing this. And then you also can spout some in too and you'll get little speckly spots so it looks marbled. And you can kind of just play around with the sponge to get the desired effect but it makes a really fun and interesting background so that when you it's not just flat color it's got some depth and dimension to it and always remember to rinse out your sponge when you finish your background rinse it and, and put a drop of soap and uh, rinse it really really well squeeze all the water out and let it dry and it'll never get stiff and hard next I'm going to make a, a variety of hearts and I'm going to make them all sizes all shapes all styles of hearts and I'm going to make them out of a bunch of different things I'm going to use some music sheets some insides of security envelopes a piece of coloring book some book text with different sizes of uh, text on it, some magazine images I want bright and colorful, this is some textured paper that's handmade, some tissue paper, some material, more magazine images, some cardstock, scrapbook paper, and you could use punches of different sizes. If you have different sizes of heart punches, you could use those, or you could, if you're not good at cutting out a heart or drawing a heart, you can do the old method of fold it in half and cut half the side and make a heart, but I'm going to make them teeny tiny small to probably the biggest one being about two or three inches. So I'm going to just make a bunch of hearts and then I'll come back and show you my idea. So here's a pile started so far of all my different hearts and there's material. I folded the material in half and cut out a bunch of different material hearts that I'm going to fray around the edges. There's some tissue paper and when I punch one out or cut one out, I folded it and cut it. I cut out also the tissue paper border because this will be super cute too as kind of a a shell of, of a heart and things like that. When I used punches, I've got several different styles of punches of hearts that I'm using and then I'm also cutting them out too. So it gives me a variety of sizes and shapes and I punched that 
little wonky one and then I turned around and punched a big one over the top of it and it's a heart within a heart. So there's all kinds of fun things that you can do here. Um, you can tear some edges of some. There was one in here where I did a piece where I punched it and I tore it and then I can put it over something colorful like that and have color behind it. Um, so I'm going to do some texture paste on it and my vision for it is to start in this uh, bottom left corner and really using small hearts I'm going to do a swirl that goes all the way across this page and around and the hearts are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Doing this with cardstock, some of it's textured cardstock. I've got striped cardstock. See if you can see that. This is cardstock that's striped. I've got cardstock that's textured. I did some in white, some in black. That's textured in a different way. It's some basil cardstock. Um, so what I wanted to do was just make a lot of different textures. I even used a dove wrapper because I love the pattern, the cute paisley pattern of the foil, and I put it over paper so it would punch, and I punched out a couple of foil hearts. And then places where I've used this to punch, this was a magazine page and I love the colors, I kept that because I can trim around that and that'll be a beautiful piece too to add that to it. And here's another one like that. So I'm going to use those pieces that are open and I'm going to use all these things punched and I'm going to start to add them with matte gel medium and layer them just to make this really interesting swirled hearts going all around the page. And the fun part about it is when it's done, you, there's going to be so much to look at because there's different textures in the cardstock and in the material. There's, you know, like I said, the sewing material. There's book text. There's so many different things to see that it'll be visually just a beautiful piece by itself with just the swirled hearts. And then when I add my girl, she's going to go over the top of the swirl. So stick around and I'll show you how I start laying start it out. start this layout, I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to pencil in my swirl. A lot of it will get covered up and that that doesn't um, get covered up will just have to show which is okay. But most of it's going to get covered. But I just want to give myself an idea of how I want the swirl to go. So then it gives me a guide for putting down the hearts, a guide to follow. Okay, so I've got my swirl on the page, see if you can see that. Got my swirl on the page and now I'm going to start laying down hearts. And I'm using my favorite matte gel medium to apply the hearts to the page. The swirls coming together, lots and lots of layers, lots of textures, book text, and all kinds of stuff, material with frayed edges, some foil from the Dove wrapper, lots of cool and interesting things. And she's going to go over here on this side. I'm liking it, but I'm going to put her aside so she doesn't get ruined. Now I'm going to take a stencil and I'm going to do some... Um, texture paste through the stencil to add some little hearts here and there. And then I also have this little metal piece and that's going to go up here. But before I do that, I'm taking a Posca pen and on my girl, I had colored in the squares on her checkerboard dress and I used the same paper to tie her in with the swirl. And so I'm going in and adding those same pink squares with the Posca pen and just doing that detailing to match the doll.
I have this thing and it is from um, Quick Cuts. It's a Quick Cut Squeeze. It's from a long, long time ago, about 15 years ago. And it has these little metal plates with texture. So I'm just taking those and taking some paper and making some little textured squares that I can cut hearts out of. It's the same thing as using a big shot or a, a Sizzix machine but it just makes little small squares of texture. And then I'm cutting those into hearts. Here's what the textured hearts look like. And then I went over them with some ink, some distress ink. This I used black and these I used a pink ink to make the raised parts of it stand out. And on this black piece of cardstock that I used a chevron, I'm using this ink versus magic, it's chalk ink in a teal and I'm just going over it lightly to distress it and pick up that chevron image. And look how cool that looks. Now I'm finding places to add them to the page and for some of them like this little heart that I textured with it was cardstock and I textured it and then went over it with black ink. I'm going to use a little pop dot and you can get these at any craft store or even um, this little package of them I found at the dollar store a while back. And I'm going to just stick a pop dot on the back and put it into place and pop it up so it'll be dimensional on the page and be raised above everything else. So some of them will be popped up and some of them will be uh, with the same level as everything else on the page. So this is what I've got. I've got textured hearts and paper, book text hearts, and different types of cardstock textures, and foil, material. I put a little rickrack across that one. There's tissue paper, textured papers, coloring book images. Some I've popped up and raised and some are flat. There's texture paste. It hasn't dried yet. So this is what it looks like with all the different types of hearts that make my swirls on the page. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take Posca pen and I'm going to do some doodling to continue with the swirl. I don't know if it'll be hearts or dots or lines. I'm not sure yet, but I'll come back and show you what I do with it or I may even do an outline of the whole border of the swirl. I'm not sure. I'm going to play around with it. I'll come back. Now I'm just taking some colored pencil and some Kirin Dosh Neo Color 2 colors and I'm just going in and adding in some shading around some of the hearts and just doodling and adding some shading. I did a black line around one side and then I'm leaving this side open just kind of playing with it and making it interesting and fun. And the next thing I'm going to add um, is I'm going to figure out where the girl's going to go and I'm going to do my lettering for my saying that's going to go on the page. I like taking colored pencil and going around some of the edges and blending it out lightly. It just makes it look a little bit more finished. And then I'm taking some Neo Color 2 and I'm going in and doing some coloring with some Neo Color. like that around some of the hearts and then taking a water brush and activating that neo color and blending it out
So I've gone around the outside edge with some really dark teal and that really made the swirl kind of come together. I like that. And now I'm going to take the uh, splatter tool by Tim Holtz and some bright pink paint. And I'm thinning down my paint, making it nice and watery. And I think I'm going to add some pink splatters. Just to the swirled area. That just makes it look a little more whimsical. I like it. Next I'm going to use my art glitter glue and glue my girl into place so that I will be able to do the lettering around her and I think she needs to go on first so I'm going to just glue her in place and I'm not putting any glue where the movable arm is because I want it to still be movable. I think I'm going to put her right here and then her arm is still going to be able to move with the heart that she's holding she looks super cute on this page with my swirl hearts I love it and now I'm going to put the lettering on the page so here's how it looks. I added the words, um, become the person you were meant to be, light your inner fire, and follow your heart's desire. So I love how this came out. I love all the textures and the, the different things to look at in the swirl of hearts and how the doll added to this page. So hope you enjoyed watching and uh, maybe it gave you some ideas for something to do on one of your art journal pages with the hearts, the textures, uh, making maybe a paper doll to add or if you don't have a paper doll or want to make one you could always add a magazine image. So it's just a fun art journal page and a fun way to use a paper doll on your art journal. So thanks for stopping by. Go make some art because art soothes the heart. Mm -hmm.